what's going on guys today in this video blog i want to talk a little bit about the upper cross syndrome the upper cross syndrome is commonly referred to as the rounding and slouching of your mid and upper back and this is coupled with a head and neck position that's protruding forward along with your shoulders and arms being rotated internally 90% of us have gotten into this postural imbalance and the common cause being prolonged sitting using computers even cell phones postural problems are a result of muscular reciprocal inhibition this simply means that all the muscles in the body have to work in proportion and in conjunction with each other in order to have good posture good function and movement and maintain overall health when a certain group of muscles are overworked they become tonic and short and tighter and as a result of this a group of muscles to the opposite side of the body have to compensate by weakening and lengthening sitting for hours with rounded back staring at computer screens causes the front of your shoulders and chest muscles to tighten and the muscles to the back of your spine namely the rhomboids and middle trapezius compensate by weakening and lengthening the same happens at the neck as well a group of muscles to the front of your neck are weak and as a result of this the neck extensors tighten which result in the upper cross syndrome the most prom- common problems associated with this postural imbalance are neck pain mid back pain shoulder impingement or shoulder pain headaches and some researchers associate insomnia and lack of sleep as a result of the upper cross syndrome as well let's have a look at all the muscles causing imbalance at the neck the neck extensors the muscles to the side of your neck and to the back of your neck are really tight and tonic so we need to stretch them so we need to stretch the sternocleidomastoid the scalene muscle and the upper trapezius of your neck the group of muscles to the front of your neck also known as the neck flexors are weak and we need to strengthen them there are no fancy exercises to strengthen the neck flexors all you need to do is just retract your chin back to its anatomically correct position where the ear lobe is in line with your acromion process acromion process is a bony landmark on your shoulder joint so you just need to keep your chin neutral parallel to the floor and without lifting your chin up or tucking your chin under just retract and pull your neck back squeezing the muscles to the front of your neck holding that contraction at least for 10 seconds with normal breathing and then releasing it let's have a look at all the corrective stretches to stretch the neck extensors stretches for the neck extensors we have three different variations first is where you diagonally bend your neck forward this will stretch the upper trapezius and the levator scapular muscle placed to the back of your neck the side way bend will stretch the scalene muscle the lateral side the lateral head of the muscle and in the next variation you stretch the sternocleidomastoid and the scalene muscle to the anterior portion of the neck hold every stretch for a minimum of 30 seconds or maximum of 1 minute perform these stretches on both sides stretches for the tight shoulder muscle start by externally rotating your arms very important and then lift your hips up bringing your spine in a neutral alignment this is going to stretch your bicep the anterior shoulders your chest both pec major and minor breathe normally the second variation is called as a reverse plank again it's a slightly challenging progression compared to the table top exercise which was the previous exercise again it's going to uh, stretch the same group of muscles you definitely don't want to do both of them you can choose any one
cobra position. Start by keeping your hands underneath your shoulders. Extend your elbows and try to get a maximum back bend, stretching your abdominals, your chest muscles, all the muscles to the front of your spine. We come to the unilateral stretches. Having tight lat muscles, tight back muscles also is a cause for internal rotation of the arms. So you definitely want to stretch your upper back, your mid back muscles as well. Firmly anchor your arm and then push your hips back. Give a nice pull until you get a nice deep stretch. Keep breathing normally. Oops, almost had a fall there. And then we come to the chest stretches, again unilaterally, doing one arm at a time. Lock your elbow on a wall. And then try to face diagonally, turning away, pushing away from your arm and pushing your body forward. That's going to deeply stretch your pec minor and pec major. Keep breathing normally. Minimum duration 30 seconds, maximum 1 minute. Perform the stretch on both sides with equal intensity. In the next segment, we are strengthening the back, the posterior muscles. This is the hyperextension. You are strengthening your rhomboids and your middle trapezius. Always try to force for a neck extend, uh, for a neck retraction as you perform all these exercises. You are getting the benefits of both in one movement. You're getting a nice chest stretch as well as strengthening at the rhomboids and the muscles of your shoulder blade. That's it. Squeeze and try to keep your neck in line with your spine and also tense the front of your neck muscles, which is the neck flexors. This is my favorite exercise. And if you have a resistance band, you can do the same known as a reverse fly using the resistance band. And what you're trying to do here is trying to squeeze your shoulder blade. Imagine you have something stuck between your shoulder blade and you're really trying to squeeze it by pulling and retracting your shoulder blade, your scapula. I'd like to do a few dynamic repetitions like right now and then hold the last repetition for at least 10 to 15 seconds with normal breathing. So you're really focusing on strengthening and strengthening the muscle there with an isometric contraction. This is just another optional exercise. You can try this if you don't have a resistance band. Just using a towel. Pretty much the similar movement, working the same group of muscles. Also your lats. You can do it a little slowly or you can do it at this pace. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.